Welcome back, we are here on E2 and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 1st, 2021. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index and as you can see the US dollar on Friday absolutely hammered it. We're up roughly 1% and we're trading well above the 20 exponential moving average. So this is usually a massive warning to stocks, indices, commodities and so on. When the US basically dollar starts taking off like it did here and here, it has a very negative effect on stocks, indices and so on. The rally back in March saw this massive move from roughly 94 all the way up towards 103 point. So when the US dollar takes off, that is usually a massive warning sign for everything else. Technical indicators are very bullish. So yes, this could be a massive warning for indices and stocks and so on. So keep an eye on the US dollar and also the yields. So looking at oil. So oil finally dropped off a cliff here. We are most likely going to find support at roughly $60, right above the 50, 20 exponential moving average before turning around and heading towards $61. $61 is the previous uh, highs over here, uh, but prior to the coronavirus, and that's most likely where we're going to see a lot of selling occur. But that won't, most likely won't happen until a few trading days because we're going to most likely drop towards 60, turn around here, and then head towards 60, 65. So let's look at natural gas. Natural gas has found support at the 50 moving average. So we did rally from here, 2.4, all the way up towards it to 3.09, and then found support here at the 50 moving average. We basically have created a hammer here, which is a fairly bullish uh, sign. We could rally up towards the 20. If we get rejected there, then that's a, that is technically a warning that we could drop even further. Weather conditions have improved for in the United States. And if we were to break down below the 50 moving average, we could that could open the door to 2.5, which is right at the uh, 200 moving average. Technical indicators, they are still very bearish. Momentum is to the downside. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have continued to, to drop. Uh, we went all the way up to 4.3, and now we're trading at 4.08. Uh, we will most likely find support here at 4 and the 20 exponential moving average. If we were to break below the 20, then the 50 is right here at 3.7, and that's probably as far as this will go. We just got way ahead of ourselves, and now we are near... We need to pull back. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement for, for copper, we can see that we haven't even gone close to the first Fibonacci retracement, and the 50 is right here at the 20 exponential. So, yes, this is very likely to continue to drop uh, as these technical indicators are all turning around and momentum is to the downside at this current stage. So, let's look at gold. So, gold fell off a cliff on Friday, and it is not very strange. People that were following my technical analysis live, uh, technical analysis on Friday, they could basically see that we have a top there and we have a bottom, and there is still a lot of room to the downside. We could drop all the way down below uh, 1700 before finding support here in this lower trend line. So moment, we are still in this channel. We are getting close to the bottom of this channel. And when we get to there, we'll mostly see this rally up towards the 20 or the 50 or probably go all the way back towards these previous highs. Technical indicators are um, very bearish and momentum is to the downside. And uh, we are basically getting really close to 1700. And that probably will be as far as this will go in this in, in this first run. So let's look at silver. We can see that the 50 moving average has offered a support yet again. The 20 and the 50 is basically where this is uh, breaking down to and then rallying. Uh, technical indicators are still very bearish. Momentum is to the downside. So if the 50 were to break, that will open the door to uh, 25 and then to the 200 moving average, which we haven't tested for a really long time, all the way back here in June last year. But still, 15, 20 are holding, and as long as that is the case, we are going to continue 
uh, slowly grinding towards $30. So let's look at Platinum. So we can see that we can continue to fall. We're trading at 11.85. Uh, uh, it is most likely at this point that we're going to drop towards the 50 as technical leaders are all turning around. US dollar increasing, uh, putting pressure on most of these uh, metals and commodities. And uh, at this point, 20 has broken and it is very likely that we'll go down to 11.22 before finding support and turning around from here. So let's look at Pallium. So the same thing as uh, it's basically the same trade over and over again. We're trading at, sorry, we're trading at the 2.2, uh, 2.5 and all the way down to 2.2. At the moment, we are heading towards the 200 moving average. If that breaks, we'll go to these previous lows. It is fairly um, pretty certain that we'll bounce off the 200 moving average. So we'll most likely go down towards 200 and then turn around. So that is roughly 2.238. And you can see the last time we touched on 200 moving average, it rallied to the upside. But still, the 2.2 level is where this has found support in the past, while the 2.5 level is where we have found resistance in the past. Trading it at this stage, where it is at the moment, is just ridiculous. It's complete gambling. Technical indicators are still are very bearish and momentum is to the downside. So, um, yes, it is tradable at the bottom, it's tradable at the top. Otherwise, I would just stay way away from this. So, let's look at aluminium. Aluminium went all the way up towards 2.213 and then fell off a cliff. We are trading at 2.2130. 15, 20 exponential is probably where this will find support. Technically, in the Gunners, they are turning around. We just got way ahead of ourselves. If the 20 breaks, that opens the door to the 50 at the 20, 30. And uh, yes, that is most likely where this will find support. You can also look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, and you will see that we haven't even gotten close to the first Fibonacci retracement or the 50 or the 60. So this could drop significantly lower before finding support. So let's look at nickel. Yes, same thing here. Uh, we can also look at the paper natural retracement. Before that, the, we went all the way to 19,867. And now we're trading at 18,490. If you look at the paper natural retracement, for example, we can see that we are most likely going to find quite a lot of support around uh, 18,400. And... Um, whether or not we turn around there, you should look at the technical indicators. They are still very bearish and momentum is to the downside. So when these turn around, then it is a sign that this will also turn around. It hasn't touched the 50 for a really long time. So all the way back here, this is beginning of November when it first last tested the 50 moving average. So let's look at the sugar. So you can see we went all the way up towards 0 0.1819 and then completely fell off a cliff. We're trading at 0 0.1635. Uh, I was hoping that we will find support here at the 20 exponential. Did not happen. It went straight through. And uh, at this point, we are probably going to test a 50 before this turns around. Technical indicators are still very bearish. Momentum is to the downside. Uh, we just got way up ahead of ourselves. And um, yes, it's just a matter just waiting until this, this turn around and then we can buy into this. The momentum is still to the upside. So in the long run, we are still in the uptrend here. But um, this move, for example, if you look at, um, at the, the trend line, you can see how far outside of the trend line we, of the, the norm we just got. So these are the previous highs in this trend line. And we just blew out of that and it could only drop from there. So let's look at cotton. And as you can see, we uh, dropped towards the 20 exponential, found massive support there, but that is probably not going to be the end of this. Technical indicators are very bearish, so the momentum is to the downside. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, we can see that we found the 50 right here where we bounced off but we can drop all the way down to the 60 at, at uh, 0 
before finding major support again. So if we drop below this, then this will be the next uh, support level and then the 50 moving average all the way down here. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa has completely turned around, but still is more of the same. So we are trading in this um, area of this square. And then we have these highs where we just found resistant and these lows where we found also resistance. So you can see how often we have tested this level here and it's very likely that we'll just roll, roll, roll over here and head back to the downside. If this breaks, then we are going to the, we could go to the very highs, but this is where we have been trading in the past. The very highs, very lows, and then in between this area here. This is a, uh, well, commodity I'm just staying far away from because it's nearly pure gambling. It's nearly hopeless to say where this will go on a daily basis. But trading it up here in the extreme and down here in the extreme, it's probably where risk is low and where you could basically make a trade. Technical indicators are technically all over the place. And yes. So let's look at wheat. So wheat fell off a cliff as well on, on Friday and also on Thursday. We're just about the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are turning around. So momentum is still to the downside. 50 has offered a massive support in the past. So if you break the 20, head towards the 50, and then we could turn around here and go higher. Break below the 50, that couldn't open the door to even lower levels. We can see the Fibonacci tracement here. The first is here, the 50. Second is here at 630. And the last one is right here, 615. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.